What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to run Android apps on Chrome for pretty much any operating system. This is all made possible by the Archon Runtime, which was created by developer Vladikov. You can install this runtime on Chrome for Windows, Linux, or Chrome OS, so long as you're running version 37. Mac users will need to be running Chrome Canary. So to begin, you'll need to head to the Archon Runtime Project's GitHub page. And I've got all the relevant links ready for you over at the full tutorial, which you can find in the description below this video. So from here, scroll down a bit and check out the Instructions section. The main thing to grab from this page is the actual Archon Runtime. So go ahead and click the link next to Download the Runtime. Then when that's finished, open up your Downloads folder. From here, just extract the contents of the zip right here in the same folder. Then head back to Chrome and click the Menu button, then go to Tools and click Extensions. Right at the top of the next page, make sure the box next to Developer Mode is ticked. Then click Load Unpacked Extension. Use this next little menu to browse to your download folder and find the extracted Archon files. You'll want to select the second folder in the folder tree here. Not the main folder, but the one that contains the Locales folder. Then when you click OK, the runtime will be loaded and you'll be ready to install some ported Android apps. There's a ported version of 2048 available right here on the Archon GitHub page. So go ahead and download that to test it out. The process here is the same. Once you've got the zip file downloaded, just extract the contents. Then go to Chrome's Extensions menu again and load another unpacked extension. Again, select the second folder in the folder tree, the one with the locales folder inside of it. When that's done loading, just click the Launch button right here, and the game should load right up. It's an Android game, but you can control it with your mouse pointer. Taps translate to clicks, and you can even click and drag to simulate a swipe gesture. There's a little bit of work that goes into porting an Android app to Chrome, so it's not like you can just download any APK and load it directly into Chrome. But the guys over at the Chrome APK's subreddit have started compiling a list of ported apps, and they're neatly categorized with download links where available. And again, this is another thing that I have linked out at the full tutorial. What you're looking for here is an entry that's labeled with the Archon Runtime. There's quite a few already, and this list should continue to grow. But if you'd like to grab one of these, just click the link on the right to head to the download page. Then when it's done downloading, go ahead and extract the zip file again. Just like before, click Load Unpacked Extension, then select the proper file folder. And if you don't want to come to this extensions menu every time you want to load up an Android app, there's an easier way. If you have your bookmarks bar showing, just click the Apps button to see all of your Chrome apps. Your ported Android apps should also be available right here in this list, so that should make things a bit easier. And from my experience so far, these apps run very smoothly. Some obviously can't perform all of their actions, since your computer doesn't have the same sensors and radios inside of it that your phone has. So games like Asphalt that are controlled with Accelerometer won't work, and apps like Google Maps that rely on a GPS chip will have problems. But a lot of apps and games will work on this platform, so there's a lot to like about the Archon runtime. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, Happy gadget hacking.